welcome back to the channel and in this video we're just going to do a short little tutorial on how you can set up an express server using node.js so we just have a basic folder open right here and i am just going to run npm in it like this and i'm going to say dash y to skip all of the uh, questions they come with all right, so that is good. And I'm gonna come up over here, add a new file, and just say index.js like this. And then in here, we're gonna add a few different packages. So let's come over here and we're gonna say npm i, and we'll say express, and we'll say nodemon, because we're gonna wanna use that. And then we'll also say cores. And I think that's all for that. And once that's done installing, we can come over to our package.json here. And in the scripts over here, we're going to add a new one. So let's come over here, add a comma there, and then we'll just say start like this. Here we're just going to say nodemon. And we will say index.js. And this will allow us to automatically refresh when changes are made. All right, so once we add that, we can just check out and see if it works. So we'll say npm um, start. All right, so that seems like it's working fine. Again, we don't have a server running yet, so that won't work, but the command looks like it's good. So let's move on to our index.js, and we can close this down for now while we write this, and we can close this down as well. So let's just get this basic uh, express server going right now. So let's come in here and we'll bring in a few things. So we'll say const express, and that's gonna be equal to require, and we'll say express like that, and then come below that and we'll say const app, and that is equal to express, and that's how we call that. Then below that, we're just gonna set a port here. So we'll just say const port, and we'll set it to 4000, but you can set it to whatever you like. Then below that, we'll say const cores, and that's going to equal uh, require cores like that. Um, and that will uh, avoid any cores errors in our server here. Now, there's a couple other things we want to add here. So there's a couple middlewares that are uh, built into Express that we'll use. And these replace the uh, body parser package. If you've ever used Express in the past, you might be familiar with that. So we can say app.use like that, and we'll pass in express.url encoded like this. And then we can pass in this object here with the extended, uh, extend, did uh, true option and then below that again app.use and we'll say express.json like this and this will just give us some extra functionality um, and the ability uh, like the rec.body functionality which we'll use in some of this uh, and in this tutorial I don't even know if this will be necessary but most of your um, express servers that you set up you'll want these so I would go ahead and add them Finally, for our middleware, let's also add app.use and we'll say cores like this. All right, and then now let's come down to the bottom here and to actually uh, set this up, we gotta go app.listen and this is gonna listen for the port, which we just set to 4000. And then we're gonna do an arrow function like this, open up some brackets and we'll just console.log like this and we will say, we'll go back ticks uh, listening uh, at and we'll say HTTP colon slash slash at localhost and we'll say dollar sign and we can say port in here and this will just uh, console.log our current port that we are on all right so if we save this and now let's open up this terminal here we got going and now if we run uh, npm start it looks like we broke something. Uh, express, so we spelled this wrong. And so it is just, uh, and say express dot like that and save that. And now you can see we automatically get our listening at localhost 4000. So we can command click to this. And if we bring this over here, 
um, you can see that we cannot get uh, the slash here because we don't have any routes going. So let's go ahead and create that right now. We'll create our first route here. So let's come down, we can close this out. And in here, we wanna actually create a route. So for us, we're just gonna say app.get like this, and we'll say uh, slash. Then we're gonna pass in the cores here. And we'll also say it's an async uh, function. And we'll say rec and res, which are two arguments we're gonna pass in. And we will say uh, arrow function. And in here, we're gonna say res.send like this. And we're just gonna pass along the string. Uh, this is working like that. So if we go ahead and save that, we can go back to our uh, right here. And if we refresh, we should get this in our corner here. This is working. And so that is basically all we have to do to get an express server going. Um, and if you're wondering here, this is our request and our response. We're not doing anything with the request here, but we are passing along the response here. So that is basically the most basic uh, express server you could possibly do. Um, so hopefully that's helpful. And uh, yeah, in the next one, we might uh, connect this to a React app. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.